okay <coughs> the tracking is about to finish now um and now right now we are into the um, you know 87% like this so once it is completed again we have to solve once it is solved then uh, this is fine over then we have to take that file into a uh, uh, maya or any 3d applications even you can use uh, even blender or 3d max also uh, so first of all uh, we have to correct the tracks so whether we have the any error tracks all the things we have to correct it out uh, then only we can able to take that into a 3d applications of course um, so right now we have a single node which is the camera tracker it's collecting all the uh, data from the footage um, so once this track is done I'm going to delete the uh, the tracking I'm going to little uh, clean up all um, before the solve also um, so um, now we'll see now um, yeah it's about to get in now 99 yeah now we can able to see this all the trials like yeah this is good but what I'm going to do only one thing here I don't want to keep the trackers which is having the moment and then I'm going to take this area so I'm going to make a little uh, reduce the bright then I'm going to select this because the stacks are like uh, moving so like uh, every 25 or something like that yeah delete I don't want these things um, so of course I'm not tracking object base right now uh, delete um, I'm trying to avoid all the other trackings little cleanup So I want to show the all the process which I have done uh, for the shot which I showed earlier uh, this is what I have done I don't know whether it's right or wrong I don't know but I have to clean up all these things um, so yeah it's fine yeah it's fine yeah I don't want even the stool uh, yeah I don't want the stool yeah. uh, I don't want anything from this the pillars all is fine still i have more clean up uh, this is not yet completed uh, of course uh, because if i use a user track then i don't have to worry about it so because i know uh, where are the the crispy pixels and all like uh, so this thing like it's very blurred but it's fine fine uh, i'm okay with this auto tracking concept so make sure that whether I'm deleting the proper data or not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, is the one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so most of all, I have made a little cleanup here. So this is fine. So once, uh, yeah, we'll go to now. So the tracker part. Mm, I'm going to select the uh, camera swall. So cameras all uh, don't take much time. Uh, usually any applications like uh, even PF Track, Dojo or any software. So it will take a little time only. Even Blender also we can able to do this. I tried this, uh, the footage with the Blender with um, auto tracking, user tracking, but uh, I'm not getting uh, you know proper calibration with that. <laughs> then only I've uh, tried with Nuke. Uh, the Nuke is fine. So maybe I'm not uh, much familiar with Blender anyway. Um, so I'm okay with uh, new and PF track. Uh, so there's a reason I have uh, tried with this one. It's fine. And so once um, the process is done, uh, then we'll go for uh, the hierarchy breakups. So now it shows like, uh, you know, the green, red, and of course, some orangish color. So we'll clean up that also. Now we can see little um, undistorted footage. If you want to check it out clearly, uh, so I'm going to reset this anyway. And uh, the camera tracker D to disable. Now you see the footage, the undistorted footage we have. It's fine, perfect. So now I'm going to uh, clean up a little. Then I'm going to take this auto track area. Then I'm going here. 
so from this point delete unsolved nodes uh, is ask you to delete yes i don't want any unsolved delete rejected node yes uh, i don't want so all the red is gone um, even if you want to keep you can keep it doesn't matter anyway but i want to make a little clean up on this now the distortion is fine delete auto tracks i don't want anyway uh, even there is an option in uh, user track so even uh, you take a normal uh, the 2d data which is like our tracker from the tracker you can uh, track any of this the contrast points and uh, the copy the tracking data and paste it to over here uh, which is like you can create an add track and uh, connect uh, just copy and paste you'll get a very good calibration but i don't want to do this in this footage anyway later tutorials i'll update anyway so now I'm going to double click on the tracker. From this tracker, I'm going to take the export option. There is a camera and a scene and scene plus. The scene plus contains everything. So I'm going to take a scene plus and I'm going to create. Now you can able to see that a lot of nodes are, uh, um, you know, it's created by the, the new. Now you see the camera tracker. Of course, we have used the camera tracker. It has created the content of the camera. Uh, this is actually the, the virtual cam right now. So I'm going to create a split the view, uh, viewer like a new comp viewer. Um, so from the new comp viewer. Uh, so first of all, uh, I'm going to take this fellow out. So viewer 1, I'm going to connect the scan line. So viewer 2, I'm going to connect the scene. Uh, I want to see the uh, data, 3D data. How it is exactly like this. And so now I'm going to connect uh, viewer uh, 2 of course. Uh, now we can see we are one we are two uh, i'm going to use the middle click to fit into our screen now we can see the data it's nice very nice actually you see this data nice it has got a very good uh, z depth so fine okay so i'll uh, explain this concept uh, you know the next video i'll stop from here thank you